hi there, we're going to look at the Britney Spears poem that she wrote and then suddenly had to weirdly apologize for, as if it was bad to write. I don't know. And the next video, part two, is going to be about the chat GPT interpretation of it. Stay here for chat part one. Go to part two if you're interested in the interpretation. Also, sad and kind of funny note, chat GPT summarizes what your discussion with it is called, and it labeled this conversation Britney's sad poem. All right, let's talk about that weird fucking poem. In the middle, or did you get them? The thieves are little. They serve like Skittles. Taste the rainbow. But this isn't that happy, and not all Skittle flavors are good. Let's go. Okay, so this fucking poem that was written for Fonzies is not a song, like most people thought. It's also just kind of um, a very creepy poem. And it's kind of hard to read, so we I put it on Word. And it'll be on my website, or I don't know, fucking Discord or something, if you want to see the whole thing. When you look at it in whole, it's kind of very unnerving. So I've highlighted and bolded the words or phrases that I thought might be interesting to have a closer look into. I have no idea what the thieves and Skittles mean. ChatGPT had some kind of idea, so we'll look at that. A lot of it's kind of on the face. They took my feet, I'm demoralized. Probably all the shitty dance videos. Let's be fucking real, because whoever the fuck it is, I don't... We all argue about who it is. Who the fuck cares who it is? We just know it's not fucking her, because that bitch can't dance for shit, right? The we want to see your face thing kind of reminds me of that post that's from not her brother's account that says a lot of shit that kind of lines up. Then we're like, whoa, the... And they're like, that's not Brian's account. Why does it say a lot of weird shit then? Just saying. The next part talks about the shit that we've heard over and over about the institute that she was at, where they put her in, that she worked for 10 hours a day, four months a slave. I feel like there's something there, so I don't really know. So if anyone else has like an interpretation, write down the comments. I'm interested in the numbers. I'm not really sure about this line about grocery stores and flowers. This one I voted, to show color a door to feel young again. Is this even legal? Now, here's an interesting take. There is a Reddit account that people had at one point believed to be Britney Spears. Very interesting. If you look at the history of the Reddit post, they ask a lot of questions that are about conservatorships in California specifically, and how would one get out of one? And what happens if someone is jamming your cell phone? This person also follows yoga, pole dancing, asking for adult help with finances. And they also followed our flowers, our pole dancing, our anxiety, our adulting. Think about it. <laughs> oh, and get this. The username was uncertain Sobel. Uncertain Southern Bell. Also, Isabel or Sobel, it has a Hebrew kind of meaning about something, a prayer and God in text. So, I don't know, you let me know. And then they also commented someone saying, like, a lot of people think they know who I am, but that's not me. Sounds kind of familiar, right? Almost like Banana Alice. So, what's interesting about that is, one of their posts says, what can you do if a conservatorship is trying to force plastic surgery on you? Kind of sounds like, to feel young again, maybe more, is this even legal? Where's the needle? Like, someone's forcing Botox on someone. I don't know though. So what I find interesting is that this was uploaded in the dead of the night. Have you noticed that a lot of posts are uploaded at night, probably after business hours, 6 p.m. and later, or seemingly deleted the next day? Kind of strange, don't you think? Only with the video I did before on posting hockey. Talk about this, about how there's always weird kind of deletions and like, it seems like there's some sort of infighting because the post will be up and then it'll be deleted. You don't do that when you're one unit. Is it Britney Spears? I'm not certain, but we do know that a lot of what I found on this page has been from the captions. So, seemingly it seems like somebody is in support of Britney Spears or Britney Spears writing the captions. A lot of what I found can only be from the captions. And we also know that a lot of people on her team do not like each other currently because they're not all on payroll. Like her family and KFED, who now have been pushed to the side. So, some things to think about. Basically, a lot of shit about the conservative save me from what. Um, there's some more like very creepy lines and shit. Again. This part was intriguing to me. They broke my face, Jesus, my right hand. If I could go back in time, I'd find my right hand. Don't you think it's interesting that it specified which hand? Another line I liked is, do you think they'd smile again? Because I took a stand, showed them where I'm from. Do you think they'd smile again and be so comfortable with me and grin? I'm so kind, I'm so free. Think again, my friends. Think again, my friends. Jesus, you guys. She's literally fucking telling us what I fucking said. Like, you think that they would be fucking happy now that I out of these motherfuckers? Fucking Christ. I'm so kind. I'm so free. Think again, my friends. Think again, bestie. Think again. God. And then, I mean, how fucking... Britney Spears is sitting somewhere being like, God, my friends, my fans are dumb. What the fuck? We gotta help this bitch out. She's like, how many S-O-S? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, and why do I not think this is something for her team for you know, publishing, obviously the deletion, obviously the dead of the night, after business hours, 
And here's another thing. It has murdery vibes. I don't know who the fuck you are. Murder doesn't sell for anybody. Murder doesn't help anybody fucking sell. Murder and satanic shit. Look at Doja Cat. I'm trying to get more information on that shit. Looks fucked up. I don't know what the fuck's happening. I think we're all in a bad timeline. I'm actually kind of scared. And um, okay, there's some more shit in this fucking poem. But I'm done with it. Okay, we're gonna go to Chat GPT in the next video. Okay, so go to part two if you would like to see what Chat GPT also put. The prompt that I used was, please interpret the following poem as if you are Britney Spears still in a conservatorship. And also just FYI, I look at the analytics of these videos and I'm going to be real with you, as much as I would love to give you 10 minute fucking videos all the time, they don't fucking do well on this fucking application because no one has more attention span more than 30 seconds evidently. So to work on that, um, in the coming weeks or so, I will be uploading a link for Patreon if you're interested. It'll be like tiered and shit, honestly. And there'll be some cool stuff in there. There'll be stuff like, if you want me to do a deep dive on a specific fucking subject that's not even related to Britney Spears, like, look at the aliens, bitch. I'll do it within a month. But I would also put the uncut versions of videos that I have had previously made that are just like too fucking long. That was like, no one's gonna fucking watch that shit. But I guess you did or want to. So you can watch it there. I might do some tears with lives or something like that too. I don't know. If you like that idea, just put it in the comments so I know what the fuck to put in there. All right, thank you. Oh, and maybe one tier will be like one-on-one -on -one chat for like 30 minutes or something like that. Somebody mentioned that last time. It was a good idea. So it's like an OnlyFans for Britney stuff. Sleuthing. Detective work only. Not like other shit. Not like what her team's doing. So look for it in the coming weeks.